NIR camouflage is useless, or is it? So recently I made a video about NIR camouflage and there have been a lot of comments that it's useless in times of terminal devices. So let's talk about this topic. At first, for all of you who don't know what NIR is, NIR is near infrared. So if you have look at the whole electro electromagnetic spectrum, you have a small section, which is the visible light, which we can see with our naked eyes. And then beyond violet, you have ultraviolet, which we are not able to see with naked eyes. And you have the infrared, which is on the other side of the spectrum, which we also cannot see with the naked eyes. Humans use technology to see near infrared. So for example, with most night vision devices, these ones are from Actin Black, you can see the visible spectrum and also the near infrared. So it's easier to see at night because there is a visible light and also infrared in the air or around and you have more of the available light which you can use to see. Yeah, now thermal devices also exist. So there are devices which allow you to see the other spectrum or the other wavelengths of the infrared. So most of them today um, also cheaper or a lot cheaper than real night vision goggles. But the main problem right now is that most thermal devices or all thermal devices are like a digital camera. So you have some delay. Those ones are not like a camera. So you have no sensor, you have no display at which you look, but with thermals, you really have those camera style. And with them, you have some delay. So with these, you can place them in front of your eyes, you can use a chainsaw, you can go rappelling, you can drive a car, you can do fast action and have no delay. But if you would like to use thermal, you have the delay. And when you have like a fight or close action where you have to react really fast, this can be a limitation. So commonly used on helmets from operators are night vision devices. Some people already use some add-ons where you can add some like a head-up display or an overlay. So you have a small square where you can also see the thermal, but this is not commonly used at this moment of the video. And with thermal devices, they are more like a stationary device. So when you're sitting somewhere and observing the battlefield or when you have a tank or a big aircraft where also weight is not a big matter, you have different spectrums which you can work with. So when you talk about thermal camouflage, it's mainly camouflage against vehicles, drones, planes and stationary observers. Of course, there are also handheld devices, which can be bought for around 2,000, 3,000 euros, which you can also use as an operator and can fold up your night vision and use the handheld thermal device to observe the battlefield. But as soon as you go into the fight and you have a close action, normally people only use near infrared. So when you talk about near infrared camouflage, you will mainly mean camouflage against opposing forces with night vision devices. Of course, technology changes really fast and maybe in five or 10 years, thermal uh, devices on night vision devices will be like the standard, but for now it's not. So I will now want to skip to some examples of near infrared camouflage and show you that it still works and is a good thing. And I will share with you my final thoughts in the end of this video and my conclusion, but now examples about uniform, backpacks and tarps. Enjoy! I will also make some videos through this night vision device from Actin Black with my mobile phone and I will also add this to this video. It's important to note those are made for night. Right now I have the day caps on, there's a super small hole inside so I can use them at day. But the mixture of light and the different wavelengths at day is different than at night, so it's not the exact representation of the picture you will see at night but it gets quite close. Now we have the normal camera and also the night vision device. And at first let's talk about backpacks as an example. So here I have the backpacks from Berghaus. Also in the German army I was issued a Berghaus backpack and they have been with this material because near infrared camouflage was not required. And with this, they are a light color and they can shine out. But in nature, also the near infrared is not always dark. For example, when you have wet dead leaves and bark and so on, it can be dark in the infrared and also dead branches and so on. 
but when you have leaves, for example, with chlorophyll inside, it will reflect the near infrared and will be super bright. So in some areas, depending on where you are, a reflective material can work better, or can camouflage better than a dark material. But you'd have to try out and yeah, uh, like it's basic in the camouflage that you often will hide inside the bushes. So there a darker material can blend in better, but yeah, it's more complex than this. So now here with the new backpacks from Berghaus, they now come in the color with a special treatment, which allows near infrared camouflage. So it's also a nice uh, olive tone, almost like Ranger Green. Uh, here in Europe, we say Steinkau Olive. And with this, it will really blend in with the view of Pro, for example, or DNS Alpha and so on, with the nice tone, which is also a lot used by police forces. Yes. When you compare, for example, this one with that one, you will see this one is not near infrared treated. This is a lot brighter, even though it's black. So this is one interesting thing about near infrared. This with the naked eye is super dark, but infrared it's bright. Of course, you will not be able to replace every gear and every backpack with near infrared camouflage, and maybe you will not need it, and maybe you can work without the near infrared camouflage. You have different options. You can use paint. I also made a video about this. Or Backhaus, for example, makes these backpack covers also with infrared or near infrared camouflage. So you can use this to cover up your backpack and then it's camouflaged in a near infrared. So it's not super reflective and it's not super dark. Some IRR resistant clothing can be super dark in the near infrared spectrum. So it can also shine out because it's pitch black. Of course, there are also camouflage patterns. And here I have the backpack cover with the camouflage pattern. And of course, a camouflage pattern often camouflages much better than a single unicolor. So this can also be used to place on top of a backpack and camouflage it. There are also some companies that make backpack covers which are silent only for camouflage, not to protect from rain. This one also protects from rain. Yeah, with backpack covers, we are already really close to tarps. So now let's go over here and talk about tarps. So when it comes to tarps, you use a tarp to protect yourself from rain, for example, or to build a height. And at first, let's talk about unicolor tarps. This, for example, yeah, unicolor is not good camouflage for the naked eye. And in the near infrared, this is shining because it's not specially treated. Now, when you compare it to this one, which is also from Berghaus, it's infrared treated. And this is why this is not shining out and it can look more like nature. But of course, both are unicolor, so not perfect for camouflage. Of course, you could add camouflage nets on top of it. Like this one, it's cr crushed material from Ghosthood with an infrared pattern. So with the pattern, of course, with the naked eye and also with the near infrared, you have better camouflage than with just one single color. But this adds weight. You can also use tarps with camouflage patterns. This one, I have not looked at it as near infrared before. I guess it's shining. It's super bright. And this one is German army material, which is printed with infrared colors. So when you look at, take a look at this, it has got near infrared camouflage and also of course for the naked eye. But for the naked eye, both have camouflage. But when you look at it with the night vision device, you would see this one is better camouflage than that one. So a lot of things to consider. The backside of this is highly reflective. So maybe in the near infrared, it still looks okay. Some guys say a thermal blanket or uh, emergency blanket can help you with thermal camouflage. Of course it can. It will mirror the heat signatures of the surrounding and you can be camouflaged from the thermal. But 
serious guys, look like this. This is not camouflage at all for the naked eye. Yeah. Now let's jump over to camouflage suits. I made a special video about camouflage suits before, but I just want to give a short presentation and you can watch the other video if you're interested. This, for example, is a standard classic 3D leaf suit, highly reflective, can work in super leafy areas. And this one from Ghost Hood, the infrared camouflage has more color variations in the near infrared spectrum and can also work better for the naked eye. But when you pair it to the near infrared or in the near infrared, it will perform a lot better since it breaks out the outline even more since this is almost, almost unicolor. And now let's talk about uniforms and insulation gear. So it's almost the same like with the other materials. Do you use unicolor? Do you use the camouflage pattern? And it depends on the material and the color and so on. But often you have the problem with insulation clothing, for example, or rain protection garments that they are highly reflective, especially if you buy your own stuff and don't want to spend a lot of money. So this, for example, for a naked eye, it looks olive, but it's bright in the near infrared. Uh, this one, also German army uh, Gore-Tex jacket, is printed with near infrared colors. So again, camouflage in the near infrared. A lot of militaries really have high standards, at least in the German military, there are high standards on the camouflage print and some others there isn't. And especially in the civil market, there's like no standard because you can buy super cheap and super expensive. And even the expensive ones sometimes don't have near infrared because it's not required. When it comes to uniforms, like multicam, multicam doesn't have a lot of near infrared contrast, but you have some contrast. But with combat shirts like this, for example, often the thin fabric is highly reflective. Depends also on the color, of course. And with unicolor, color with different materials, it's also possible that you get some kind of a camouflage pattern because the materials reflect in different ways. And when you add different pouches and blade carrier and so on, it can also appear like a camouflage pattern when you only have unicolor, at least in a near infrared. Of course, for the naked eye, they look like almost the same, but in the near infrared, you have some contrast and it can break out the outline. Now let's get to the conclusion. So yes, of course, as long as people with night vision devices, which can see near infrared, are looking for you, you will need near infrared camouflage. It's useful and it's a must have if you want to stay camouflaged. But of course, camouflage is not always and only the near infrared spectrum. You also have your naked eye. So when you have the best near infrared camouflage, but with your naked eye, it looks crappy, you will be spotted. And there's also the thermal, the radar, and also things like the shape, the shine, the silhouette, the spacing, and so on. So camouflage is a really, really big and complex topic. And not only colors and shapes. Also, the tactics, the techniques behind it is a big thing. You have to think about who is your opponent, what technologies do they use, and how can you encounter those threats to stay camouflaged and to stay well hidden. It's not only one guy on YouTube telling you, use this magic uh, thing to pull over and you are gone for everyone. It's really complex. You have to dive into it and get a good uh, education or good training to use those camouflage techniques in the field under stress and so on. But I think, or I hope, this video was interesting and you got an idea about if NIR is still a thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> and Make sure to check out my website, my YouTube channel, and let me know in the comments, have you considered NIR camouflage before? What are your experience with it? And if you want to see more thermal camouflage stuff, because right now I'm working on something, and I hope I will be soon able to upload some thermal camouflage videos. So thank you for watching, and I'm looking forward to be watched by you again. Bye.